In this video, we are reviewing about the manager Egawe, whose real name is Paolo Bento. Paolo Bento was known as Paolo George Gomez Bento on 20th June 1969 in Lisbon, Portugal. Paolo Bento belonged to a lower middle class family and he faced a lot of sufferings in his childhood. He was in good studies. He concentrated more on football than in his studies and he used to play football by cutting his classes. Even if he went to school, all his interest was to play football in the school ground with his friends. But he never dreamt becoming a professional footballer because during that time, the clubs of Portugal were more interested in recruiting new players from rich families. At the age of 13, Paulo Bento participated in a selection trials conducted by a small club in Portugal. They were looking for some new talented young players for their club. Many had participated in these trials, but all of them were amazed by Paulo Bento's talent in tackles and in his key passes. And at last, he was selected as a defensive midfielder for that club. Paulo Bento played professionally in his homeland for teams like the CF Estrela da Amadora, Victoria de Gomes, and SL Benfica. He also played in Real Oviedo and Sporting CP. As for the Portuguese national team, he gained 35 caps in his career. Paulo also played for the UEFA Euro 2000. He retired as a footballer after achieving the double in Sporting Club de Portugal and contributing 31 games with a single goal in the league. After retiring at an age of 35, Paulo Bento got the job of Sporting CP's U team coach and helped the team win Junior Championship in 2005. He was then promoted to first team duties in 2005-2006 season. As for the national team, Paulo Bento succeeded as a manager on 20 September 2010. He also led the Portugal national team to the Euro 2012 semi-finals whereby it lost to Spain. Paulo has managed to make an impact on the football fraternity both as a player and a manager and he will certainly try to do so for his home team Portugal. Currently, he is working as the manager of South Korean national football team. Now let's review about Paulo Bento in PES 20. As we all know that Paulo Bento is not a licensed manager in PES 20. So he is in the name of A. Gawe. He can be described as the one of the best manager in PES 20. A. Gawe follows 4-1-3-2 formation in PES 20. And his management skill is 760. So we can use a team which has team strength from 4200 to 4300. His low management skill is the only drawback for him as a manager in PES 20. Ego we follows counter-attacking style in PES 20. At first, let's check his offensive tactics. The build-up is short pass in offensive tactics, so the scoring is made by short passes. The attacking area is middle. As the attacking area is middle, the players will not play wide. The players will play within the D-box. The positioning is mainly formation. In this tactics, the players will maintain their positions after giving a pass or a cross. Gavio follows Oro defense as his defensive style. In Oro defense, the ball is not recovered as soon as you lose the position on the ball. The players will not move forwards to recover the ball as in front line pressure. If the position is lost, the players will move back to their positions and then defend. So each player will get enough time to move back to their positions in this type of defensive styles. In offensive tactics, the containment area is middle. Containment area middle is a defensive tactic which makes a trap by giving space to attack through middle. Next, if we look towards pressing, it is aggressive. Aggressive pressing means if we have lost the position on the ball, our players will highly keep pressing on the opponent to regain back the position. So during aggressive pressing, players will move forwards without maintaining their positions. Next, let's review his management strategies in defensive tactics. In defensive tactics, the build-up is long pass. If our opponent's defense is stable, we can play short pass in the offensive tactics. If your opponent's defense is not so stable, we can play long pass in the defensive tactics. In defensive tactics, the containment area is wide. Containment area wide is a defensive technique which makes a trap by giving space to attack through wings. I am conflicted watching where I step still. Next, let's check which players are well suited for Egovi's managing techniques. First, let's look which player is well suited on the goalkeeping position. 
we should choose goalkeepers having playing styles as defensive goalkeeper. For example, Jan Oblak, Thiwa Kotois, Hanovic, Giajiluji Buffon, etc. Next, if he looks towards centre backs, we should choose a player with good height, gem, man marking, and build up as playing styles as centre back number one. Examples of players having build up as playing styles are Virgil van Dijk, Thiago Silva, SD Verge, Harry Maguire, Clement Langlet, etc. Then, we should choose a extra front man as centre back number two. For example, Gerard Piquet, Paolo Maldini, Sergio Ramos, etc. Next, in the case of right backs and left backs, we should choose offensive or defensive full backs having good speed. Players well suited for the left backs and right backs in Gauvi's formation are Roberto Carlos, Cafu, Andrew Robertson, David Alaba, Kyle Walker, Xavi Zanetti, etc. Next, in the case of Armov and Elamov, the player should be a box to box player. In Gauvi's formation, the Armov and Elamov has a great role in attacking. They should also have good ball winning ability. So players having box-to-box -box playing style can help both in attacking as well as in defending. For example, David Beckham, Allen, etc. The defensive midfielder should be an anger man because we can use him as a stay-back defender. Govier follows all our defense, so it is better to use a stable anger man than a destroyer. For example, Sergio Busquets, Casemiro, Fabinho, Rodri, etc. If we choose a player to aim a position, a creative playmaker or a whole player is well suited to this position. AMF has a great role in attacking in a Gauvis formation. For example, Kevin De Bruyne, Neymar, etc. In the centre forward position, a goal poacher and a fox in the box is well suited to this position. The player should have good accuracy in first time shots. Because in Gauvis formation, the attack area is middle so that the possession game is not possible in Gauvi's formation. The combination of these two playing styles really sharpens the attack. Examples of goal poachers are Kylian Mbappe, Sergio Aguero, Roberto Lewandowski, etc. And examples of Fox in the box are Lukaku, Zapata, etc. In substitution bench, always use players that can replace players in the attacking position. You should always keep a players of attacking mid-forward, right mid forward, left mid forward and centre forward. And it is better to have a super sub and a player that has good weak footage usage and weak footage accuracy. As in the real football, A. Gauvier is one of the best manager in Pest D. If you use these tips, it can really sharpen your attack in this formation. Thanks for watching, signing off from Justin from Dead LC. The life I want to live, I want to take it all Standing tall, fear I wait the person you are Oh